Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. I don't know about you but when I started dressing like this about 20 years ago it was really difficult to find shoes that I liked, especially shoes that I liked and could afford. So maybe if you're starting out right now, you're having a hard time finding something that you can afford, maybe you're just trying this out, maybe this is something you can only wear in a few special occasions but you cannot do in your everyday life. So you don't want to invest that much or maybe it's just out of your budget even if it's a daily thing so you're looking for more affordable choices than let's say demonia or new rock which are the big staples on god shoes today i'm going to show you a few of my favorite shoes from romwe if you're not familiar with romwe they're a store that carries a lot of different styles but they've been focusing a lot on goth and dark aesthetics lately and if you're watching this video that's probably what you like so that's one of my go-to places for let's say everyday shoes that is shoes that i can wear to go out but that they're still really goth really cute really cool and have a big platform because i am very short and i don't like wearing flat shoes ever so i'm gonna show you some of my favorites some are new and some i've had for quite a while so i can give you a little bit of a review on how they hold up and all that stuff if you're curious because i know with holes it's a little bit more difficult because it's more of a first impressions thing but I've had some of these shoes for quite a while, so I can tell you if they're holding up. By the way, before we start, I have a discount code for you. If there's anything in this video that you like, don't forget to use 15 vest to get 15% off on Romway and get things even cheaper. It would also be great if you could subscribe to my channel and maybe even hit the notifications button because I know people who are subscribed are not watching my videos anymore and they don't know I'm uploading, so maybe that's why. It would help me a lot and I would be super grateful because I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm gonna start with something I just got from them. I have them here. These are their boxes. They have the Romwe logo here. And let's open them. I haven't tried them on yet because I just got them, but... I fell in love with them when I saw them. This is something I would wear to go grocery shopping or something like that that is a daily shoe for me because as I said, I'm very short and I love platforms. They're cute, right? Anyway, before I try them on, I'm gonna share a couple of tips if you're buying from them. First of all, with sizes, make sure you check their size chart. It's specific to each article, so it's the measurement of this specific shoe, for example. And they are very detailed and very accurate in my experience. So check that, don't go for your usual size. I have shoes from them that are 38 and I have shoes from them that are 40. That's European size in, by the way. So please don't just grab your usual size. Check their size chart and pick something that's gonna fit you. If you don't know how to measure your feet, I'm sure there are a lot of tutorials online, so it shouldn't be difficult. And another thing is if you're like in between, usually size up if it's a closed shoe and probably size down if it's a sandal because I have a feeling that they tend to be a little bit wide at least for my feet I have very narrow feet so maybe that's why so with sandals if I'm in between and I'm not sure which size I should get I usually size down because I know they're gonna be a little bit too wide for me anyway now let's get into the shoes which is why you're probably here <laughs> I really like them I really hope they're comfortable because this is something I would like to wear Everyday, my everyday shoes are from Romwe, by the way. I just put them on and I can tell you that the size chart was very accurate because they fit perfectly. I think they're very comfy so far. They feel like very soft and very squishy on the inside, which is a good thing usually. If they're too hard, they're not gonna be comfortable, but these ones seem to be really comfortable. Again, I just tried them all, so I don't really know how they're gonna be after a while. This is something I'm gonna wear a lot from now on because I've been wearing a pair of boots from Romwe. I will show you those boots right away, but I've been wearing those almost every single time I left my house for the past few months and I needed something a little bit more weather appropriate. Now, these are my everyday boots. They are also from Romwe and I love them. They're the most comfortable thing ever. I wear them all the time and so far they look like new. Of course, the heels are a little dirty. I think it's cat hair to be honest. But other than that, they're holding up pretty well. The heels haven't come off. I've used them quite a lot and they seem to be in perfect shape. They're very comfortable, of course, otherwise I wouldn't wear them on an almost daily basis. And I really like them. They are the perfect way to look a little bit more cool, let's say. 
without having to put a lot of effort or wearing heels or wearing expensive platforms that I don't really want to wear on a daily basis because I know I can't afford to replace them. By the way, if you like any of these things, I will give you the links in the description box down below. Some of these things are old, so some of them might be out of stock, but all the new things should be available. Next I have these heels. I hope you can see them. They're a little bit basic, but they have chains, so they're not so basic after all. They look like this, and I tried one on them, and I seem to remember they were comfy, and they were my size, so let's check them out. There's something I want to mention before I put them on, which is the way they close. They go like this, and then they're perfect. Don't worry, they stay in place. It's super comfortable and super easy to use once you get used to it, but I've seen people struggling to find out how these things work. It's really easy. I have a bunch of shoes that work like this because I think it's very common with some Asian brands. So yeah, once you get used to that mechanism, it's just as simple as the usual one, maybe even faster. They feel very comfortable. The soles are really squishy and soft. And so far, I like them a lot. I don't know how it's gonna be after a while because the heels are quite high, but I'm personally used to this and I honestly really like the design and how chunky they are. They are, however, on the narrower side because they fit just fine for me and my feet, I know they're quite narrow. So just mentioning that in case you have wider feet, maybe these ones are gonna be a little bit tight. Now I'm gonna show you something I really wanted. Maybe it's not the thing I was the most excited about, but it's something I really needed. And it's a pair of super chunky platform god sandals. Let's take them out of this box and not drop them. Okay, they look so cool in real life. Let's face it, I prefer high heels, stilettos and stuff like that, but I am not leaving my house with those, to be honest. So this is gonna be perfect. It gets really hot in summer here in Spain, so I always need something that's open to be able to survive August, because August here is horrible. So if these ones fit properly, they're gonna be a lifesaver. By the way, they close with a zipper on the back, as you can probably tell right now, so you don't have to open all these things every single time, otherwise I would end myself. The front part of the shoe is really wide, too wide for me, and that part is not adjustable, but since they're really, really tight everywhere else because you can adjust those straps, I don't think they're gonna be uncomfortable and that's gonna be a problem, but I'm just letting you know because my feet are way too narrow for these, but I'm really hoping it won't be a problem because I really want to wear them this summer. Finally, we have what you've probably been waiting for because I know everyone is crazy about these boots. They are old, but they are still in stock and they are here. They're everyone's favorite pair of boots because they are thigh high and because they are so stretchy that they look amazing. They look and feel like you're wearing thigh-high stockings or something that don't feel like the rest of thigh-high boots I have. That's why before I got these, I always hated the thigh-high boots, but after I got these ones, I am just obsessed. They're very comfortable for me, but it's a high heel boot, so expect the usual with high heels if you're not used to walking in them. They're not gonna be comfortable for you. For me, it's not a problem at all. And the heels are really thick, so they're really stable. They're really easy to walk in, to be honest. They have a zipper to help put them on and take them off and to me they are just perfect, they fit perfectly, they are really comfy and I look amazing in them. I always love wearing them, of course I keep them for special occasions or photos because this is not something I can use in my daily life. I rarely go out for those of you new here so going grocery shopping with something like this is not <laughs> the most convenient thing. Anyway, I love them and I know so many people do as well and they ask me for the link constantly whenever I post them on Instagram, so I will try to find it and post it in the description box as well. We're gonna continue with boots, but this is something completely different from everything else I have. I wanted to pick something that was a little bit outside of my comfort zone, and these were the perfect boots because they have still a huge platform, and I really like the fishnet detail, but they're completely different from everything I own. Something I really like is this piercing detail in here. So cute. Honestly, I think they're really cool and I'm trying to find an outfit that matches this vibe because I don't have anything white as far as I know. I do have a corset, 
but it's a totally different thing because it's the brocade corset. So I'm gonna have to try to find something to match these. They're comfortable, but I made a mistake and I picked the wrong size that they were a tiny bit too small for me. Second size start, I should have sized up, but I was in between one and the other and I decided to size down. I don't know why, but I should have totally gone with a different size. Other than that, I really like them and I think they're very comfy if you pick the right size. Next, I have something similar but <laughs> totally different at the same time. They have the same heel. I picked the right size for these ones and they're very comfy. And they have this design on the front. They're like faux demonias and I personally like them a lot. I know not everyone can afford demonias. I have a couple but I know there's something that if I broke them, I won't be able to afford them again. So I try to keep them for special occasions and maybe for photos or festivals, things like that. But I try not to use them on a daily basis because I know I cannot replace them if I broke them. And I know how easily you break demonias. I've, I've destroyed a lot in my lifetime because as I said before, I've been wearing these things for a very long time. I just found a very similar pair in my closet. They are also from Bromley, but I think they are out of stock. In any case, I wanted you to see them because they tend to restock similar things every now and then. I've killed a lot of demonians in my life and I really cannot afford replacing them so often. So something like this is much better for me to wear on a daily basis. As I said before, I always wear platforms. So even if I try to keep the very special ones, for special occasions, I still need something I can wear on a daily basis, like that. Next we have these shoes, which I assume are a Naked Wolf knockoff because of the soles at least. Yeah, that part looks like those shoes. Anyway, I really like the design, but unfortunately, these are the only ones that I put the right size and I checked it a couple of times. And when I got them, they are really big. They're almost one size too big for me. So I'm not sure if I will be able to fix them somehow or if I'm going to have to return them because I don't think I can wear them comfortably to go out and all that. I think I'm going to tell you what I picked. These are a Chinese 40. They were supposed to be 24.5 centimeters. I will write it somewhere here in inches. And that's the feet measurement, by the way. And for some reason, they're way bigger than that. I think they're almost 25 centimeters. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to wear them to go out because I got them to replace a pair of shoes that just broke down and I wanted something similar. I only have a couple of shoes left to show you. This is something I got for a project and I never did set project. These are super cute pattern pink heels. I love them. I love the soles so much. They look like candy. They're so pretty and they have this ankle strap. I just really, really like them, but I got them for a Draculaura project and I was supposed to make them pink and black. To be honest, I actually had a plan for them. I have all the materials, but for some reason it's so difficult for me to focus on things lately. I mean, it's always been hard, but it's so much harder nowadays and I'm trying to find a solution for that because it's really affecting me in a lot of different ways. Anyway, the shoes are really comfy, I like them, they're really pretty and I seem to remember they were very affordable so if you want something pink for a DIY project or, or if you like them as they are because they're really pretty to be honest, these are just perfect. And finally, these are the last shoes I'm going to show you. I have these mixed between shoe and sandal. I really like it because I personally like that the toes are not open but the Part of the shoe is. I really like this design. The soles are almost exactly the same as the ones in the pink shoes. I really like that design so I decided to get them in black as well. Unfortunately these are faux leather and not patterned but I like them just as much to be honest. I think they're very flattering. They're high heels so comfort is something subjective. I can walk in them. I don't have any problem. But for some people, they might be a little bit too high. I'm not sure. But since they're very, very chunky, as you can tell, I think they're very comfy and you're not gonna stumble and fall. They have been used quite a lot. They are still in really good condition, just like everything else from them that I've tried on so far. I haven't had any problems with their shoes and some of them are my daily shoes. So 
I have a feeling that the quality is quite good for the price. Now, being completely honest, I have a feeling as well that not all those shoes come from the same place. So I cannot really tell you if all those shoes will be consistently just as good or if I was just super extra lucky and everything I personally got was really high quality. What I can tell you is that from my experience, everything I got from them turned out to be way better than I expected in terms of shoes. I've had a couple of mm, bad experiences with clothes, but with shoes, I never had that. I was really surprised. I Like my daily shoes, uh, the boots that I showed you almost at the beginning of the video, I'm so, so happy with them. They feel just like Demonias, to be honest. The only reason why I like Demonias better is because they have higher platforms. But other than that, I can't really tell there's any difference in terms of quality and there's a huge difference in terms of price. Especially if you live in the European Union like I do, I have to pay extremely high shipping costs for Demonias and then I have to pay taxes, which means they cost almost twice as much as they do if you live in the US. So for me, I really cannot afford them at the moment. So these ones are a really, really good alternative. I recommend checking older shoes because although there are some keywords you can use to find things like that, like platform or very high heel or chain heel, chain shoes, things like that, I usually search for those things. Or then when you open a shoe that you like, you click on recommended articles and then you will find a lot of things you like. I recommend going through their entire shoe catalog. They don't have those many things and you can find really, really interesting things. They keep updating it every single week. So maybe by the time this video goes up, there's something new that I really, really like and that you might like as well. Overall, my experience has been really positive, but again, I feel the need to tell you that it might not be the case with everything because I have a feeling that not everything comes from the same factories and not everything is subject to the same quality standards. I'm not entirely sure, but I have that subjective feeling. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I hope you like the things that I picked to show you. Some were, as I said at the beginning of the video, new, but a lot of them were old and are things that you have seen on my pages. If you follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you don't, the username is the same, I'm Vesmedinia on TikTok and Instagram, so if you want to watch extra content, feel free to check it there. I hope you had a good time here if you're still watching. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!